Katie Cash, a 29-year-old publicist in Somerville, New Jersey, who was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in college, can relate. People talk about depression and anxiety so much that those conditions have become normalized, yet there's still such a stigma around bipolar, she says. Melanie Carlson, a 39-year-old who was also diagnosed with bipolar in college agrees. People often think that I'm always in one emotional extreme or another, or they look at me and say, you have a job. Like they're shocked, says Carlson, a social worker who's also getting her PhD in psychology. There's so much great activism happening around other mental health conditions, but we've still got a long way to go when it comes to bipolar. That's why we sat down with Cash and Carlson. We wanted to understand the common misconceptions about bipolar disorder these women face, and to hear from them why these assumptions just aren't true. When Cash hears someone use this word as an adjective to describe someone who's angry, or whose emotions are all over the place, she cringes, and frankly, she gets mad. People throw out this word as if it means nothing, which is super frustrating and also really damaging to those of us who are living with the disorder, she says. For example, I heard people call former President Trump bipolar all the time when he'd rant and yell at people. Don't get me wrong, I'm no fan of his, but let's not label him or anyone bipolar if there's not a diagnosis. As for Carlson, she says she's fielded everything from people assuming she wanders down the street talking to herself to others thinking she's always erratic and unstable. Even when I started my master's degree in my early 30s, a nurse looked at my chart and said, wow, most people with bipolar don't get it together until they're 40, says Carlson. These kinds of statements are so hurtful because they're just not true. Five ways to keep your quarantine workout routine going as you head back to work here are some tips to stay fit from your own living room how to make mosquito bites stop itching. Five treatments to try and nine to skip Halle Berry's bikini pic shows off how toned she is at 54 here's what her fitness routine what is a cancerous mole. Symptoms, causes, and treatments, explained by dermatologists a dental student on TikTok says she knows if someone is pregnant by looking in their mouth what is celiac disease rash? Here's what you should know about the itchy condition Christina Schulman just showed, unfiltered, pictures of what her perioral dermatitis rash Raja Naomi King shares, gorgeous, postpartum body in photo shoot. After days of labor Shannon Doherty, 50, shares makeup free selfie on Instagram. My face reflects my life what it means to be white passing if you're BIPOC. According to experts can your employer require you to get a COVID-19 vaccine? Here's what to know bipolar relationships. How to care for and cope with a bipolar partner NFL pledges to stop controversial race norming. Here's what that means FDA issues warning not to eat cicadas if you're allergic to seafood. Here's why 10 symptoms of celiac disease you should know. According to experts can you imagine getting really upset or angry and not being able to express those emotions without someone thinking you're having a mental breakdown? That happens to Cash, who says that it's incredibly frustrating. I have to be allowed to have feelings, she says. I'm allowed to be angry and when Cash was diagnosed with bipolar disorder after a major depressive episode that prompted a life-threatening drug overdose, her boyfriend at the time broke up with her shortly after, and he told her she'd never graduate from college. She did. A few years later, she had a boss who told her that because of her mental illness, she'd never be successful. These days, she runs her own booming business as a publicist. It's been nice to prove these people wrong, she says. Getting diagnosed with bipolar disorder isn't exactly easy, and it can take a while to find your footing, but it doesn't have to stop you from living fully. Finding the right mix of medication has also been a game changer for Cash when it comes to keeping her symptoms under control. Still, she wishes there was less stigma around her disorder. If I had to take medication for pain because of a broken arm, someone would be like, damn, you broke your arm. They'd get it. Well, it's the same with my mental illness. At the end of the day, the imbalance in my brain when you find out that a friend or loved one has bipolar disorder, you might be tempted to avoid that topic altogether. While everyone is different, many people who have the disease, appreciate it when others talk to them about their assumptions and ask questions about the mental health disorder, Cash and Carlson say. Bipolar is a part of my life, so I love it when friends ask me about it and want to understand what my experience has been, says Carlson. In fact, the more I talk about it with people, the more comfortable I feel talking about it, and the more comfortable others get, too. Cash feels similarly. When the people in my life take the time to understand this disorder, it puts them in a position to be super supportive. And isn't that what all of us want?